Hi guys, it's Arun from Team Workout Movement and today I'll show you how to do dips in order to get the maximum activation on your lower chest and therefore the maximum growth. So let's begin. So first of all, you'll need the strength to do at least around 10 to 15 push-ups at once and then you can come to dips. So usually you can find them in these street workout gyms which are usually built outside or perhaps you can buy the ones which you can have at home, they're like the lower but they'll be just enough. So in this case I'm using the normal street workout ones and when you already have them and you are here, you'll just go up into this position. Now the most common mistake is that people aren't straight like this. This is the base of the entire dip and you have to be sure that you are doing it correctly. So never do it like this, so never crunch your shoulders and like fall back. You always want to extend them, have your traps nice and straight and you'll be doing the movement from here. So after you master this position and you are feeling that your arms are strong enough to hold your entire body, then you can go down into a dip. So it will look just like this. You'll go down almost like a 90 degree here and then you'll again go back up. Another important thing about the position of your arms is that your wrists and your elbows should be on the one and the same line. So if I would come to the deposition, especially the lower one, I should end up here. Never here or here. In this case I would engage my shoulders and in this case I would more engage my triceps. So you want to be like right at the one and the same line and here you'll get the maximum contraction on the chest. Another common mistake is that people cross and put their legs behind. This is caused because the core is too weak and therefore if you do this it becomes much easier to do the movement because the lever is a little weaker. But of course we want the maximum tension and therefore we want to have straight legs next to each other and then in the movement we'll be just putting them down and a little behind and then we'll be again going up. And then for last for the breathing you always want to inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up because as you already know you always want to inhale when you stretch the muscle and exhale when you contract it. So the perfect dip will look like this. As you can see my body is in one straight line. I'm going slowly down and up, always trying to inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up. Then my core is nice and tight and then my elbow and my wrist is on one and the same line. And this is how you should be doing your dips in order to get the best contraction on that muscle. And a little tip for you, if you want to get even better contraction on the chest, you want to try to squeeze your chest or like hands together as much as you can and you will see that the contraction on your chest will be even better. Now, don't forget that this exercise is only meant for your lower chest, so if you want to have a workout, of course put this exercise into your repertoire, but you also want to have some other exercises for the middle chest and the upper chest. And if you are looking for them, I have a workout for that, I will leave it down in the description below. Alright guys, so this is everything for the video, I hope you enjoyed and learned something that you will use in the future to build a better chest. Of course guys, I have social media now, I have Instagram and Facebook and I have daily uploads there, so be sure to follow me there also. And if you have any questions, just leave it down in the comment section below, because I always respond, so ask me whatever you are interested in. Alright guys, I hope that you will have a wonderful day, thank you very much for watching, and bye.